What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And we've got a 1955 with a 350 up under the hood. No power steering, no power brakes. This thing is very pretty. I love the color combo. It's green and white on the inside, almost identical to the paint job, which is very slick. Check out the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing, shipping is available. And if you hit subscribe, share this video and hit like, that helps me out more than you know. And I do appreciate it. I can keep making these videos for you. So yeah, we're gonna take it down the road. Any kind of flaws I can find, you'll know about it. This is the first time I've driven this car personally. So sit back, relax, cause it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. And before I take off on any test drive, I like to place bets. Do you think this horn works? It's a game I like to play on the channel and we'll look around the interior a little bit. It's got the aftermarket B&M shifter. It's got the aftermarket gauges, hit the ignition. She starts up good. The gas gauge is coming up. It's right between a quarter tank and a half. The dash on this one's nice and clean. Got some tunage. Digital style, old school radio. Supposed to replicate it. The gas, or the gas, the uh, temperature gauge is coming up on the dash here. Oil pressure is up. Blower motor is on and blowing. Wipers. So the switch is just spinning. I think switch is messed up on this one. Turn signal on the left. Turn signal on the right. Looking around the interior, you've got. Newer carpet, you've got nice seats. We're gonna call this the Mint Mobile because I really like the colors going on in here. It's refreshing. <laughs> Headliner, looks good. Did you play some bets on that horn yet? Let's try it. It does work. All right guys, we're gonna hit the road. Of course, anything we see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. All right, got you set up. Now we're gonna take off here. This is the first time I'm driving this. So let's put on the pant leg window here. Got some humidity again. Let's see if we can cut it down. It's hard to stand behind that in a 55 model without good paperwork. We'll go to the gas station up here and put about $25 worth of premium fuel in this ride. And we'll check that gas gauge. Place your bets on it. You think it works? It is floating around. A lot of times when it's floating around, it gives a good indication that it is still working. is hooked up on this one. Just double checking that. Kick down is a passing gear. When you floor it and then it shifts down and just letting y'all know, I know a lot of people ask, what is that? What is that? Well, everybody's got different turns, I assume. So we're here at the gas station. Let's get a little fuel be right back okay I got $25 worth of premium fuel in this ride you put it in right here in the side the door is a bit loose there spring could be a little tighter
What do you think? Did y'all place bets on this gas gauge? Because it was between a quarter tank and a half. Let's turn it on. I'm gonna say it works. That's that's pretty uh that's pretty good. It'll probably come up just a little bit more too as we drive. Okay, let's put her in gear and take off. Okay, let's roll out of here. So I did notice there's no seat belts. I noticed that before we left the lot. I don't know why I didn't mention it, but I should have. All right, we're gonna head on out of here. Engine temperature is right at 210, and it's been going back down to 190. It's just fluctuating like this. Oil pressure's a bit on the low side. It's around 20. Of course, when you rev the motor, it'll jump up to 40. Um, steering, brakes, all that's pretty good. Steering's still got a little bit of a left pull here. Stay. I hear a lifter noise and a little bit of an exhaust leak. That's what I know so far. All right. So he just barely pulling to the left there. Riding down the road, oil pressure's around 50. Just driving right now. going down the road too. I don't hear a lot of noises coming from the suspension or the body or the interior.
and out nice and smooth. Okay, made it back to the lot, and now we're gonna do walk a walk around on this car, picking out the flaws, chips, scratches, whatever I can find. That way you know what you're getting. Be sure to look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. And of course, I'll keep making these rides if you hit subscribe. And we'll be doing all these test drives throughout the week. We list everything on Monday. I try to have everything done on Monday now. But of course, here on YouTube, you don't wanna put 15 videos out in one day. So I'll spread them out from Monday, Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday, and then the rest of the week. You can give me a call. I'll be working on the following week's videos. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Okay, we're back at the lot. Now we're gonna walk around this ride, point out chips, scratches, flaws, anything we can find. Be sure to look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We do have financing and shipping available for you. And of course, hitting subscribe helps me out. Also sharing and hitting like. So do that and I'll keep making these videos. I do appreciate that in advance. This thing's got some nice trim on it all the way around. Looks like it's already been replaced. I love the color combo. It's a beautiful car inside and out. call this one the minty the minty ride coming up on the front the grill on this one headlight bezels turn signals front bumper all that is new looks nice and clean going around this side we're gonna go down the lower portion first come back to midsection end on the top you got paint chips here on this front end tires are in good shape american racing wheels drum brakes all the way around trim looks good got this lower portion here body is in great shape chip back here Door handle's been replaced. You got a chip up here in the front on the nose by that headlight. Coming back over the top of the fender. Missing the wiper blades or arms and blades. Front windshield is nice and clean. Trim looks good all around it. Same with the windows here. The seals are in good shape. A little paint run there with thick. Back windows in good shape, trim looks good. Around the back, tailpipes, a little bit of surface rust on them. That could be cleaned off. Back bumper is in great shape. It's pretty clean back here on the trunk lid, too. A little chip there. Coming down this side, lower portion. I got the center cap in the car. I need to get some screws for it. A little scratch there. 
couple old chips that have been covered up on that door hardly see them a little spot down here on the bottom well dimples here in the front nothing major try not to zoom in and out too much up and over back at midsection spots inside the gas cap there back window on this one looks good A little bit of surface rust there on your vent window. Up over your roof here. Made it around this ride. This one's pretty easy just so because it, it's so clean. It's just a nice car. All right, opening up the door panel here. The door panel's a bit wavy, still in decent shape. You can see some marks where people are kicking it with their shoes, getting in and out of the ride here. The door handle has a little bit of pitting. Same with the window crank. The seal around the door has been replaced and is in good shape. Look at down the bottom portion of your door here. Same size as a new one. Not too bad. It's pretty good. Your jams clean. Your carpet has been replaced. There's your cap for that wheel. The seat itself looks good. Back seat. Package tray. Your headliner, nice, tight, straight, looks good. Coming across the dash. And a retrofit radio, new style, old style. A little bit of pitting right here. Starts up good. Radio. Working. I did this walk around video before I left the lot, so the engine temperature has not came up yet. She's still cold. I'm just putting this segment at the end, waiting on the wife, really. <laughs> Blower motor is working. BM shifter. wipers the switch is out on this one it's just spinning left turn signal is blinking on the dash there right turn signal is blinking on the dash there leather well, stripping's a bit crushed there in the corner Coming up on the trunk here, the seal. Stuck on the outside there. I think it doesn't have the right seal on it. You can see how it's kind of fallen. It's new, but I don't know if it's the right one. It doesn't seem to be. The trunk itself, it's got some patches and it's been painted over. Spare tire there, hole right here. Up in your package tray. 
surface rust. Trunk lid. Edges look pretty good. Insulation, not too bad. All right. This one's got a bit of an exhaust leak and maybe a small lifter noise too. Should come up higher. The way they got the spring tightened down. Got an extra one over here. Maybe good just to get two new springs. That way you can lift your hood all the way up. It's going up right now, but when you let go, it pulls it back down. See some of the paint is chipping up under the hood here. That's got a mean look. I love this paint. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. That helps me out and keeps me making these videos for you. Check out maplemotors.com for finance and shipping. 100 detailed pictures, all the inventory that we get in every week. We get about 15 cars a week. We usually have 10 that post every Monday because five of them will sell before I can list them. That does happen. Uh, it's just become a normal thing up here. But we do try to get about 15 cars every single week. Just stay in business. If you're, if you're watching, you see it on Thursday, you're too late a lot of times. The stuff that I post on Monday is not available on Thursday. It usually goes fairly quick at this moment. So people are always wondering, they're like, oh, your videos don't reflect what's on the website. That's why, because <laughs> within the first day, three or four of them already sold. All right, guys, I do appreciate you watching. Again, I'll keep you updated. Cars currently available is a playlist below. Look at it, check it out. Check maplemotors.com out. We update it every day, marking the cars sold and what we sell. And every Monday at 11, you'll see the new ones. Hey, thank you. I'll see you later.